the Fats controller came to the sheds, he had important news for the engines. He told them that the Queen was coming to the railway. The engines were excited, but everyone was wondering who would pull the royal train. I'm too old to pull important trains, said Edward sadly. Gordon knew he couldn't pull the train either, because he and Thomas were both still in disgrace. He'll choose me, of course, boasted James the Red Engine. You, snorted Henry, you can't even climb hills. You ask me to pull the train, and I'll have a new coat of paint. Just you wait and see. A few days later, it began to rain. Henry's driver and fireman covered their cap to keep dry, and Henry went off to collect his coaches. As Henry was backing into the station, there was trouble. A painter was on the roof painting the roof. Henry didn't even know. He blew some smoke up into the air, and the painter lost his balance. Then there was more trouble. The painter landed in Henry's tender, and the paint can landed on Henry's firebox. The painter was very cross. You are spoiled my new clean paint of your dirty smoke. He said crossly, and then you'll take the whole lot and make me go and fetch some more. He stomped crossly away. Then the Fats controller spoke. You look like an ice cake, Henry, he said. That won't do for the rail train. I'm afraid I must make other arrangements. The Fats controller came to the sheds to see Thomas and Gordon. Please, Please sir. sir. One at a time, said the Fats controller. Yes, Gordon. May Thomas have his branch line again, sir? What do you think, Thomas? Please, sir, can Gordon pull coaches again now? I think you are both sorry and do deserve a treat. You have been behaving after all. Edward will go in front to clear the line, Thomas will look after the coaches, and Gordon will pull the train. Everyone worked hard. Thomas looked after the Queen's coaches. And Henry, James, Percy, and Toby have worked hard by bringing lots of visitors to the railway for the Queen's arrival. Just then, all the engines heard a whistle. It was Edward. The Queen is here, he puffed excitedly. Then the engines heard another whistle. It was Gordon steaming in with the royal train. After he steamed into the station, he went to join the other engines. Everyone gave the Queen a big welcome. She asked the Fats Controller if she could see the engines. Of course, ma'am, said the Fats Controller. Percy blew his whistle and Toby rang his bell. Shh, hissed Henry and James. But Toby and Percy didn't care. Three cheers for the Queen, peeped Percy. All the engines joined in too. That evening, when it was time for the Queen to leave, she thanked Thomas who kindly fetched her coaches. Then to Edward. And finally to Gordon who took her away. No engines felt more prouder than those on the Fat Controller's Railway.